Hello, my name's Mrs Tibbetts and I'm the head teacher at St Vincent's. I'm sending you this video to tell you all about your new reception class. I'm really looking forward to meeting you when you come to school after the holidays. Your teachers, Mrs Miller and Mrs O'Neill, can't wait to see you. But first, shall we have a look around? Here's your classroom. When we go inside, we wash our hands to keep safe and clean. These children are wearing their special school uniform. There are some children doing some cutting. There will be lots of toys for you to play with and things to make. These boys are building with bricks and there are lots of books to read. Your teachers will read stories to you too. Here is a train track for you to play with. And soon you will start learning how to write. There's a special place to hang up your coat. Let's have a look outside. This is the playground. Let's have a look around. There's our mud kitchen where you can do some cooking. We've got a place for growing things like tomatoes or flowers. We have some tables outside so you can do some writing. And sometimes we bring books outside to read in this special reading place. There are benches to sit at. Some children like making big things like this train. And we have some big bricks for making towers and roads. Lots of little creatures live in our playground, so we make special places for them to hide. We have places for children to hide too, and tree houses for them to climb into. And we have some big grass steps so you can climb up to the top or have a sit down. Here is some sand to play in, or you can put some in a tray and you can explore in the water. These children are doing some sweeping up to keep the playground clean. In the green shed, there are lots of toys and bikes. We have a lot of trees and plants that you will need to look after and give them water. Let's go back inside. These are the toilets and you can wash your hands in the sinks. I wonder if you can manage your buttons and zips by yourself. See if you can practice before you come to school. But don't worry if you get stuck because your teachers will help you. This is the dining hall where you will come to have your lunch. Parents, in reception, every child will have a free school meal. When it's time to go home, your mummy or daddy or childminder or carer will wait in the playground and we will send you out to meet them. And then you'll go home through this gate. Now, I'm going to introduce you to your teachers. Hello children, my name is Mrs Miller and I'm going to be your teacher in reception in September. Hello children, my name is Mrs O'Neill and I'm going to be your teaching assistant in September. I'm going to support Mrs Miller with your learning. Right, I just wanted to tell you a few things. First of all, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in September and you're all going to have a great time. You will learn how to read and write and learn about numbers and shapes and patterns and you can listen to lots of different stories and songs and learn about how we work together and be good friends. In reception, we have sand, water, painting and Play-Doh. And that means we can get a bit wet and messy sometimes, but that's the way we learn and explore. We do digging and planting, and we learn how things grow and about different kinds of bugs. And for mummies and daddies and carers, when we arrive in the morning and at home time, 
We tend to share information on the gate and we also send messages by phone and you will be sent an email or a text message to let you know if your child has had any minor accidents in school. And can I ask you to be sure to put your child's name on their uniform to prevent any mix-ups. Part of the learning we do in reception is geared towards independence and that includes choosing where we want to learn and accessing resources independently. During the holidays, please support us by helping your child to put on their own coats, fatten zips and buttons, and also eating with a knife and fork. Remember to have regular conversations with your child about starting school. It will allow them to be more prepared and to give you an idea of how they're feeling and you can pass on any worries to the teachers at the start of the term. I think you're all going to have a great time in reception and I can't wait to meet all of you. We're also going to hope, well we plan to have stay and read sessions later in the year where mummies and daddies or carers can come in and read with us as a group and we'll have a great time. Look forward to seeing all of you in September. Take care. Bye Take for care. now. Bye for now. Now, a few things for the grown-ups. Parents, especially those who are new to St Vincent's, I do look forward to welcoming you in September and getting to know you over the coming years. Normally, we encourage parents to come into the classroom and stay with the children for a little while for the first few days until they are settled. This September, when your child starts, we'd like you to bring them round to the reception class playground in the morning, and then you can help them to choose an outside activity. Mrs Miller and Mrs O'Neill will gradually support them to say goodbye to you and then to go into the classroom on their own. Hopefully, after a few days, you'll be able to leave the children at the gate to come in on their own. It's very important that you let us know if anything is worrying your child. So have a quick chat at drop-off time or collection time to let us know if there's, any, if there's anything we need to know about. A couple of extra points, especially for those of you who are new to St Vincent's. One of the best ways to prepare your children for school over the holidays is by talking. I know that sounds obvious, but please do talk to them about everything and encourage them to ask and answer questions. If English is not your first language, do keep speaking to your child in your home language as well. It's really important that they learn both, even if it takes longer. It definitely won't stop them from learning English. We'll be giving your child a reading diary and a book to take home. The first books will be for you to read to them or we'll talk about the pictures. Please read with your child every day for about 10 minutes and then sign their diary. They will be reading in school too, but we know that reading at home really helps your children to progress faster. If English isn't your first language, We've got some videos on the school website to help with pronouncing the phonic sounds. The children should come to school in their uniform. That's grey trousers or skirt, white shirt or t-shirt, green sweatshirt or jumper, and black school shoes or plain black trainers. They will be outside a lot and they will get dirty, so be prepared for lots of washing. Please make sure they have their name written inside everything as it's really hard for the teachers to find out who things belong to. Finally, thank you for entrusting us with your child. We see our job as being in partnership with you. So please let us know any information that you think will help us to do our job. And we will make sure to keep you up to date with what's happening in school. That's all for now. Bye bye and see you in September.